Business Day. This is Letitia from Destiny Panels. Today we are going to walk you through doing an online payment with the NI, NIS office. So this is um, their website. Right? This is the first thing that you have to do is to register. You can either click here to do the registration or you can use this knob that send you to the same page. Right? When you do that, you put in your company name, the company NIS number, the amount of workers, whether it's two, five, how much any, how much of workers you have, your company address, two forms of con um, communicating with you, two telephone number, whether it's your office number and a cell phone number, your email address, your preferred banker, FCB, Scotia, whoever. But at this present moment, only FCB and Scotia are the only two banks that are offering this service. This is your online payment agreement. Please read. Understand everything. The importance of everything. Right? The director or secretary could put in the name and they must sign. You print it. You can scan it. And then you send it directly to the online payment at NIB nibtt.net right you have to wait a little while because they will go through make sure everything is okay they will call you and give you all the relevant information once that is done and you are proof your next stage is to organize for your first payment right when you do your first payment right this is where you will click your online NIB payment and contribution, right? Sorry, wrong page I click. It will bring you here, right? You will pick your bank, as I just told you, it's only FCB or Scotia, right? Your transaction code number, you will get that when you do your transfer or oh, shock, sorry. You will pick FCB or Scotia, as I told you, those are the only two banks that are doing it online. You put in your transaction code, which you will get when you do your online payment. You put in your company name, your NIS number, the address, your email address, telephone number, the number of employees, the month that you're doing your contribution. Well, February is due just now, so you can put like February. The number of weeks, February, have four weeks at this current time, right? Put in your contribution amount, B. It will automatically goes here. You mind you, you don't have to put in any dots. You just continue filling it. I will show you like I am actually filling it here. And it's actually put it. When you move from it, you will see it come down on the bottom there. Right? You put in your records. Right? So you add your record here. Where you put in the month. As I just said, February coming up here. Put in your contribution again. You just put in the numbers and you just fill in accordingly, right? Move from it to workers. Click OK, right? Click OK. Oh, something. Oh, yes, I put you. Oh, sorry, I put too much. That's put a different from what I have there. Hey, see, so it's 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 um, it's even. Right, so I see I made a mistake and it corrected me. Oh yes, I forget the year too. Right. Right, so you see the same information there. Then you have to download your template here. Right, let me show you the template which will be this that comes up here. Right, you put in the... NIS number here, which is usually uh, a nine digit number that will go in there, right? The person, first name, I mean, the last name, the first name, the date of birth, the date of employment, the salary amount, and then each one of the contributions, right? Now, this form here, right, is a electronic version of this paper form which is the NI 184 so you will see the same information here 
the NIS number, the person's last name, their first name, the date of birth, date of employment, the salary amount, their contribution for week one, two, three, four, and the, and the total value. That is the same information that will go here. So you see they're just making it simpler and easier for you, right? Okay, so once you follow that, you attach that this document back on, right? I'm minimizing this, right? Then you have to follow it. So, and that's it. And then you, then you send it, submit it with your payment. Now, this form that you're filling out comes to be, is a replica of the same. Let me put it a little closer. The NI-187, which is the same information here. Which you will have the company uh, name, address, the period you're paying for, the company number at the top there, and the amount. So that's just a duplication, uh, digital duplication of what is there. So you see, they just eliminated two forms and put it electronically. So if you have any problems, any issues, you can email us at admin at destinyplannerstt.com. And I hope this video was a very useful one to all you entrepreneurs who want to start to use the online NIS contribution payment form to have a great day. Bye for now.